So there's a ton of you that watch this channel that struggle with normalizing leg movement, in particular, working on lifting that leg up. So some of you feel like you have a heavy leg and then others of you feel like you just can't get that knee to bend. And that is where today's product spotlight comes in perfect. So I've shown this product quite a bit on this channel in other videos where we were are where I am demonstrating exercises to work on normalizing your leg movement. And again, because I use this so frequently with so many patients to teach them how to do exercises on their own at home, I thought I would dedicate a video to showing you all the ways that you can use this resistance band belt. So what comes with this kit? You get this belt that has a bunch of hooks on it where you can hook TheraBand. It comes with these snap resistant TheraBands, which are covered in kind of a cloth fabric, which are a lot better. They do last a lot longer. And then it comes with uh, ankle straps and hand straps. I think it's intended for people that are working on boxing to kind of strengthen their arms. So it does come with these wrist supports as well that you can use it for. But what I primarily use this thing, this device for, or this tool for, is normalizing lower leg movement. As I mentioned, in particular, working on hip and knee flexion. So what I like to do is just start sitting and hook the ankle strap onto the leg and then bring this strap all the way up and across the body and hook it onto one of the loops on the opposite side of your body. Now, why is that? Primarily because a lot of you, your leg flops out to the side. So it's also gonna emphasize bringing that leg up and across your body. And then once you're in that position, start laying down, which I show a lot in a lot of videos here, working on that hip and knee flexion. For those of you that have that heavy leg, bringing that knee up towards your chest, laying down, you're stabilizing the other joints. It makes it a little bit easier. If you do have some spasticity, your body is more relaxed, which also makes a movement a little bit easier. And then progress to standing. So what I love about using this in standing is for a lot of you, when your leg gets behind you, it gets very, very stiff. So starting with that leg behind you and then bringing it up and across your body, the bands work great to give you like a little bit of an active assist motion. But before you get there, I would definitely start laying down first on your side, then on your back. That would be the progression. So laying on your side is gravity eliminated laying on your back is against gravity so i talk about that quite a bit so moving parallel to the ground first if you're in the early stages or if you're someone that has a lot of stiffness again if your brain thinks it has to work hard a lot of that spasticity is going to be a lot worse so start very very easy the easiest place to start is active assisted gravity eliminated so that would be on your side then progress to your back then progress to a functional activity in standing, all using the band to help assist that movement. Now, now, as far as the knee flexion, a lot of you have difficulty doing that when your hip is extended. Now, the reason for that is, is hip extension with knee flexion is an out of synergy pattern. I talk about this a lot. Abnormal synergy patterns are when groups of muscles link up together. Usually knee flexion goes with hip flexion. So that's why when your leg is behind you, it kind of feels like it's stuck to the ground, like you can't bend your knee to bring your leg through. So what do you want to work on? You want to start laying down, working on hip extension with knee flexion. But for a lot of you, that's near impossible. And I just know that because I've worked with a lot of you. So the best way to do that is to start with an active assisted method that's again where this belt comes in so, so, so handy. So again, starting on your back, hip extension with knee flexion, and then progressing to standing, and then progressing to walking. So for the functional component of this, I know I show it with it in the front and within it behind the band behind you. It's really figuring out what is the biggest problem for you. Is it that your you can't flex your hip and then if that's the case, like you can't bring the knee up towards your chest, 
then I would put the band in front. If it's that you feel like you just can't unlock your knee, which is going to be the case for most of you, that is a bigger issue than bringing it forward, then I would put the band behind. And I will say in my experience, for most of you, it's bending that knee. It's getting that knee to bend. So for the majority of people, I do put the band in the back to help unlock that knee so that you can bring that leg through. But again, it's such a great product. And because I use it so frequently, I thought it deserved its own video. So if you want to learn more about this product or purchase this product, link for this is in the description below. As usual, by clicking on the link in the description below, we do see, receive a small commission for this. So I appreciate your support in advance if you do decide that this is something that will help you in your recovery. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do these product spotlights in the middle of the week, but every Sunday we post a video that is dedicated to specific movement related problems associated with a neurologic injury. So if you want to take ownership of your rehab and really progress to the next level. I highly recommend that you come back on Sundays where we really do break down a lot of the neurologic movement problems that can occur and ways to help you resolve those issues. If you want to get exercises throughout the week, you can head on over to Instagram where I post one to two videos every single week. I enjoyed spending time with you all today. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.